Hi everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and we are going to pick up where we left off last time with my thrift store haul. So I hope you'll stay tuned to see what I got at that great place, three places actually, and you'll get to see what's in this red box and these other beautiful pieces. So have a great time and enjoy the video. And if you see something you like, just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Give me the video name with the episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, brief description of those pieces, and the price is given. Okay, so thanks. Have a great time on this episode. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified. So let's continue where we left off. Okay, so on my research sheet of paper, this necklace goes for 45 you know, sellers online, this gets 45, but I will say um, I'll do 30 on this beautiful Monet, okay? So $30 on that piece. And then I found this. Not another tag. Arr! I'm sorry, I'll get it quick. Oh, they use those little threads that aren't easy. Okay, here we go. This is a Trafari round square cone. Needs a little bit of cleaning. Um, and then gold beads in between. Really awesome. Typical Trafari gorgeousness. So this is quite a long necklace. Could be doubled. Look at that. Look how it looks doubled. That's a beauty. This one measures 32 inches, and it is lucite, and they go for about 45. And on this Trafari, I'm going to say 38. It is a Trafari, so 38 on that piece. Let me know what you think. This is going to make a great uh, thumbnail. When I go to take my picture, so let's see what else I have from that thrift store. So if you think about it, I got this necklace, the Trafari, Monet, those other black pieces that I just thought were interesting, so I grabbed them up. Looking for true vintage. So that was really an exciting few pieces. else did I get from there? Oh, this is so beautiful. So this has a lobster clasp, but a beautiful gold tone chain, and look at this. I, I just think that's so sweet. Faux pearls, these gold beads, and then come on. Look at the texture on the beads. Just gorgeous. I love it. And I'm thinking, oh, I have earrings to go with this. And then when I try to pull them out and see if they match, I don't know if they will. I almost want to do that now and show you guys how I might put a jewelry bag together. But I don't know how long the video is going to take. So I don't want to get too far into it and then have to stop. So this could be doubled. There's no maker, but it is extremely sweet. And I do love all those beads. Just Oh, just so classic. Like you could layer that with just about anything. Pearls, uh, shiny gold, frosty gold. It could go with anything, I think. Oh, I'm in love with that one. And this one is 36 inches. So no name, but excellent condition. And I'm going to say 22 on that one. Now, I forgot to show you, I bought a bunch of rings to sell, and as I was looking at them and cleaning them and measuring them and taking pictures for eBay, I fell head over heels in love with this one. It's solid sterling silver. It's, I guess, like a buckle style. And I didn't like it at first, but the more I wore it, the more I fell totally in love. And then I've got my Larimar on, but look at this one. Can you even believe it? So this is that real 
um, coral, Mediterranean coral. So it's not the dyed red coral, it's the real stuff. So what a score this ring is. It is smaller, it fits on my pinky. I don't know what I'm gonna price this at yet, but I just thought I'd show you that I'm falling in love with them and don't know if I can let them go. I do have a couple of rings and bracelets going up on eBay, like one per day. So I'll put the link in the description and you can see which pieces I did list and see if you like those. But, oh, I can't wait till you see all the rings. They're just so pretty. What do we got in this box? Oh, that's right. This is the Kate Spade set. Let me get this off. This is so fabulous. They have it marked Kate Spade on both pieces. And is this the original box? It's not marked Kate Spade, so probably not. But look at this necklace. Now we know why Kate Spade is such a collectible. Well, now I know why. It's so heavy and so quality. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So white enamel and gold tone Kate Spade with the paper clip chain in between and a lobster clasp and a beautiful gold ball at the end. Here is the hang tag and the back of it. I'll put that on Buster. Wow, right? And the matching earrings. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how they they just go on like this and you clip the backs. So I don't know a lot about Kate Spade, but I'm sure they're gold plated. It's just great jewelry. So mm mm mm, right? I did pay up for this. Yeah, I paid. 35 for one and 20 for the other. That's a lot. So 55 I paid for the set. Okay, I took a look online really quick and there is a similar necklace called Chain of Events, new with tags, just the necklace is 168. Then there was exact same necklace, but it was used, it wasn't new and shiny. And that was 49 but on auction, so people would be bidding on that. Then I found the same exact necklace, new with tags, for 128 So brand new, the necklace is 128 No earrings are with it at all. And I would say this is brand new. I just don't have the price tag. Excellent condition. So we are going with... We're starting with the price of 128 We have earrings with it. Probably be, I don't know, another something, something. So why don't I just say 79 for the whole set? So 79 for necklace and earrings. Brand new. I'll measure the necklace. 18 plus you have another two, three inches. So 18 to 20 inches and gorgeous earrings, and it's heavy and beautiful. So, yeah, let me think about that, because what did I pay? Okay, I'm gonna stick with that. I'll, I'll, I'll make a little bit for my time, but someone will love this, so that's fine. Very happy with that, okay? So Kate Spade, so pretty. I probably should have asked them to take less, but uh, I think I did, and they said, no, it's new, and they wouldn't take less, so I do remember asking that. Okay, what's next? So just to refresh you, this is all from that store that I showed you in the video. And if you're just joining me, I would have let you see me shopping the jewelry, but they had music really loud in the front, and I would have got a copyright strike because you can't have music playing on your YouTube channel unless you have the rights to that music. So that's what a copyright strike is and that's why we have to be careful. So this necklace 
is really interesting because it's on just this regular rubbery piece, but I noticed that this piece is from Mexico. Pretty sure that the back is marked 925 Mexico, might even be Taxico. So this is a really good piece. Um, I'm trying to decipher what it exactly says. I know I stared at it before. Um, Taxico or Mexico. Here, I'll let you see it. You can see what you can figure out, maybe. But again, I looked at it a long time before. It's just that I'm getting it all out now. And I tested it, and of course it is sterling. So, and it has some kind of maker right there, too. So it's a handmade piece, probably a one of a kind. And I think I'm going to put that on a sterling silver chain because Mexico silver is going for quite a lot. So this one's going to go to the side. And I'm going to find a great sterling silver chain for that. Hopefully I can find a Mexico chain. And then put that together nicely. And sell it the right way. So this one's not going, yeah. What else, is that it? That's not it, I have to show you the earrings still. So here's all the earrings I got. They have this turny thing and the earrings are all hanging on there. And I shopped there before and got quite a few nice pearl and sterling earrings. And these are no exception, they're all sterling. These are really cool. So they're Mark 925, they're lever back, and I did a gem test on this with my gem app, and these are pyrite stones. They're really cool. If you look at them closely, you can see that they're stones. So they are pyrite. And these, I think I did look at a price for these. Lever back with special stone pyrite, $40. They're nice and weighty and heavy. So all sterling. And look at the extra sterling on that, on the lever back in the front. Really pretty, right? Should take them off and show you. Need to figure out what kind of a earring thing I'm going to have. I just put them on like this little earring thing and hold them up all nice. But that's the earring. Great quality, $40 I think is awesome. So marked and tested with pyrite stones. Nice different look to them. So that's the price on those. These are abalone and mother of pearl inlay. And I believe these are alpaca. They really look like alpaca. So I'm going to say they are. And the alpaca. I know I have it on my list too. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I got everything in order that I have on my list. So the alpaca earrings I'll do for 12. And again, they're abalone and mother of pearl inlay. And I'm pretty sure they're on just regular silver tone wires. But they're nice, they're in good shape. So we'll say 12 on those. And then next, I have these beautiful sterling silver earrings. These are older quality, not today's stuff. They're marked up here. And they are vintage. They have an AP or an AD. It looks like an A with a P stuck on it or a D. I can't make out who the maker is. But they are swirly optic oval hoops. Beautiful, beautiful condition. They work really great. Older earrings, such nice quality. So I'll pick them up if they're super nice quality like this. Maybe they go better like this. 
So that's these earrings. And I have a price of $35 on these. So that's that one. And next are these very Art Deco, awesome looking earrings. And they're signed by the same maker. It's an A with like a D up next to it. So they might be someone great, I don't even know. Try so hard to get you a picture of it, but it's super tiny. Let's see, can we do it this way today? Yeah. So on the left, there's an A and there's a little P sort of stuck up against it or a D. Hopefully you can see that because they are gorgeous, really well made. And look at the design. I mean, come on. Beautiful earrings from that same maker. I love how thick the little um, earring wire is too. So let's see on this one, deco style. I'm going to say... Um, We'll stay with 35 on these as well. So, hope you love those. I'm sure you can't get that in today's store. So, I'm really excited to bring them. So, 95 wire ear ribbon black onyx. Okay, that would be these. They look like a ribbon. They're all sterling silver with black onyx. And... Wire Ear Ribbon Black Onyx 35. I have a price of 35 on these. Let me see if they're marked at all on the back. I know they are in the wires, but not in the back. But really, really beautiful. So these are 35 as well. And I thought, wow, aren't they cool to like have as a set. Someone really had some good taste when they were when they were buying their earrings and then they turned them in. Now these are incredible. They are gold over sterling and they have all this texture to them. And when I looked them up I almost fainted. So see that cool texture and design on there? The back doesn't have it but the front does. They have like this beautiful flowers etched in there and the middle is supposed to be silver and gold. So these, one of them is signed 925, hand carved. This is what I found online, hand carved gold wash earrings. The comps were the silver only, not the gold wash. Oh, I'm sorry. Ones just like this that were just silver, not gold over were $60, and the ones with gold over were $150 to $234. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with them, but they must be something special with the gold wash and the hand carved. But that's what they are exactly. So I don't want to say a silly price, but that's what it says online. So why don't I just maybe hold on to these, look at them a little more. I don't want to upset anybody by saying a high price, but I know what I saw, 150 to 234 So let me get some more info on those. In the meantime, if you love them, just email me and I will be looking at that right after the video and figure that out. I'm just reading my notes from my own research. And then I have 925 infinity style with black onyx dangly earrings and I have a price of 30 on these and again everything's all marked 925 on the back and on the wires and tested everything just to be safe but these are older quality earrings if it were just me I wouldn't test them but for you guys I did so $30 on that pair and Next, I have these really old Millefiori earrings. They are exquisitely made. They are 
we're on like an older brass ring and it looks like maybe someone put maybe new wires on later I can't really be sure but the uh, original earrings look quite old and they're not your everyday Millefiori look at how beautiful and tiny really really cool so I thought these were a good idea to pick up really very pretty just special look how pretty the glass is now I tested the wires to see if they were sterling with the 18 karat and it didn't go anywhere so if it doesn't go anywhere then I thought let me test with 14 karat and it didn't go anywhere either so they may be white gold wires I'm not sure but all I can say is they don't disappear when I test them. But I'm not going to price them up as if this was gold. And it's not that much of a wire anyway. But I just thought I'd let you know what I found just now. So they close like this. And you're going to tell me in the comment section what that is. Probably a French wire or something. And that's okay. I don't mind being reminded. But I can't think of what it is right now. So I love that. You don't need any earring backs. And these are oldie Millefiori. And you don't need backs. I think that's a good, valuable thing. And gosh, I'm going to say 30 on these. They're so sweet. And I think they're old. So let me wipe up my little area here. And put this aside and that was fun because that was a lot of beautiful beautiful earrings all sterling and then these pretty babies I'll have to put aside so if you want to do a screenshot here you go if you want to see them up close that's what they look like with the silver in the middle and the gold flowers that are just carved Okay, so that's that stuff. And now I can show you what I got at the other thrift store. Okay, you ready for my third thrift store that I popped into that day? This was a nice little place. There was not a lot of jewelry in here at all. It was a young mom with her little girl and it just looked like she was having a great time reselling and having clothes for people. It seemed like a place where people could go for help as well so I really enjoyed shopping there and I sort of you know helped to support her as well because she was just very sweet this I have no idea what the what now it's a beautiful shiny brooch all prong set beautiful deep blue with green rhinestones but I'll tell you why I have no idea Look at this side of it. So there's the pin. If you pin that on you, it's rounded. So I don't know why it would be rounded. I feel like some of these could be, it's very soft, so some of these could be repositioned, but I just don't know what to make of it. The clasp is here and it's rounded. And you can't really, can't go pulling that clasp. And if you're thinking we'll just flatten the whole thing out, you can't because these will crush into each other. You see, they're already touching. So let me know what you think of that. I don't know what to make of it. It must go on something round, but I don't know what that would be. So help me out, guys. I'm really stumped on that one. What should I show you next? Because there's some really good stuff from here. I don't even know if I can sell it. Okay, where are the little earrings? Get those out of the way. Here they are. So these you're going to see in my jewelry matching sets because I can use filigree all the time. So I'm going to keep those for your wonderful jewelry bags. This bracelet, I think I got this from the thrift store that's on the video. Just got into the wrong bag. I love it. It's not sterling silver. But it is nice. It's probably plated. It's good and chunky. And I love the little tag that you can either enjoy as it is 
or you can get it engraved. I just thought it was very chic looking, a very almost Tiffany's looking. And so I picked it up. They sound great. They're a nice metal. I was very happy with those. And I'm not prepared to size it right now. Like I said, I was just going to come on and show and tell, and here I am. Well, why don't we take a minute for those just joining to remind you what my email is. It's capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And if you email me for some jewelry, please include the video name with episode number, the timestamps of when the pieces show, a brief description of them, and the prices that I gave, okay? Thank you so, so much. When you give that info, I can go right to the bag of jewelry because I keep everything from each video. I keep it in a bag like this and I'll mark it with the video name. But I'll go back and put all this in little baggies and, and make it all nice. So that's how I do it. And that's why the video name and episode number is so important. So. Bracelet measure was right in front of me the whole time. So these are an eight. I was going to say an eight. I just think they're really cool looking. Nice, heavy. And I think they'll last. They don't look like cheapies. I'm going to say 10 on those. Next, I have this. Oh my gosh. So this is a Lucite bracelet with carving underneath. So under here is the carving. So when I turn it to the side, it's all clear. And when I turn it this way, look at that. Is that not awesome? So I had to get that. I'm sure it's very collectible. You can feel the carving in here. So I don't know how they did it, but it's really awesome. Really, really beautiful bracelet. And yeah, they're not easy to find anymore. So I sure grabbed this one up. It measures almost an eight, between seven three quarters and an eight, but just so cool. Look at that. Not there, and then it is there. So for this one, clear lucite bracelet, I'm going to say 25. So I think that's great. They probably go pretty well online. I didn't look at those prices, and I couldn't find one like that anyway, so... Next, look at this incredible, big, chunky, beautiful, look at the clasp. It's got that real gold looking lobster clasp and it's a Byzantine chain, absolutely stunning. And it gets thicker at the end, so it's a graduated. And let's get the buster over here. This is quite a find. Oh my goodness. It's heavy. It's beautiful. Thicker on the ends. Let me pull it up this way so you can get a good idea. So see what I mean? Isn't that just yummy? Absolutely yummy. Now, I don't think I found one with the same clasp. I found them with the bigger, newer lobster clasp, but not quite this one. And let's see, Byzantine chain lobster clasp 55. So that's the price I have on this one. And I, I always do my prices and then I get on camera and I'm like, well, I'll take it down again. <laughs> so I'll take it down to 48, okay? So big, heavy Byzantine gold chain, excellent condition. And no maker on it, but that really cool clasp. Oh, you need to know what it measures? Okay, I'll measure it for you. It is 20, 24 inches. So there you go with that hunka hunka. Burn in love. Hunka burn in love. Now I felt something else in here. Oh my. All right, I don't think I can let this one go. This one has the larger spring ring. So when you see the bigger spring ring, you know it's an older piece in general. 
So we've got the spring ring and it's a bigger one. And then look at the snail chain. Look at this gold snail chain. I do have one that's thinner, much thinner than this, as far as millimeters wide, but this one's stunning. Just beautiful. It's in great shape. I did have to clean it, so I know it's older because it showed its age. I had to clean it quite a bit, but it came out beautiful. And the fact that I cleaned it and scrubbed on it and it still looks like this looked better every time I washed it tells me it's really good quality. So let's see, move along here, Sherry. The snail chain, true vintage, larger spring ring snail chain, 42. So I'm gonna stick to that price because this is a hard one to find. You can find a lot of them that are just as pretty, that aren't as old, and that's okay too. They all look pretty when you're wearing them. But this one is older, so I think it's worth that. And it is 18 inches on the True Vintage Snail Chain. And I already gave you the price of that, 42. Okay, now, I think we have just one thing left. I haven't been out since then. That was March 24 that I went out shopping and I haven't been out since then. So now I'm gonna show you the piece de resistance. This is a Panther style chain, but it is by Givenchy. Now I know some people say Givenchy, some people say Givenchy, but I always heard it said Givenchy, so that's how I say it. There is your clasp, and on the back right here, it is signed two times, two or three times, I think. Right here. And I think also on the clasp or on the other side. I know it's signed a couple times. Oh, that says left and right. It does have another signature somewhere. She showed it to me in the store, and I know it's on here. It's just been a while since I've seen it. But it's here, I promise you. Maybe it's under the clasp. Don't know. Well, it's on here. If you need me to show you with a picture or something, then I'm happy to do that. But it's signed twice. So this is it, absolutely stunning. I really could not find one with these teardrops. I could find the panther chains, but the teardrop shape was not, I couldn't find one. So, Givenchy regular panthers go from two to 300. Um, and this one is the teardrop one. So this one is a lot. I'm gonna say, um, I'll say 185. I mean, that's more than half. And just let me know. If it's too much for people and you're looking for something not so fancy, that's okay. But that's the price I'm going to put. I think it's super fair and it's in great condition. So, what a score, right? I got this, this, this. And that really cool lucite and that crazy pin in that same place and I told her I would come back and bring her some jewelry just to donate there so I'm gonna do that as well so that's my thrift store haul I hope you had fun with that and I'm gonna see how long the video went because what I want to do is open my next box of shop goodwill jewelry and I want to show you the four bags and I want you guys to pick which one I open first. So if we have time to do that right now, I would love to. And if we don't, then I'll do that on the next one. Also, I keep forgetting to tell you that I recorded myself making the maple syrup this year. It's not a full great video, but I did record little bits of it. And let me know if you want to see that sometime in the middle of one of my videos. 
I'm not sure because you guys come to see jewelry. You don't come to see maple syrup making, but let me know what you think. And I can always do that too. There is one more necklace I need to ask you all about. So I'm completely stumped with this one. You may remember me unboxing this, I think in the 38 pound episode. It had like a little watch thing on the bottom or uh, yeah, a little time piece. But this is the necklace. It just looks incredibly well made to me. It's beautiful, the textures. I have had people ask me to buy this and I don't know what to price it at. It has those rings, exquisite detail, and the clasp is a lobster clasp, but I don't know what to do with this one. It's stunning. The crystals are stunning. Do you have any opinion on this one? What do you think it is? What do you think goes on the bottom? I've done Google searches on this as well. Can't find anything. So for those of you that want to help, oh my goodness, thank you so much. I would really, really appreciate that. And yeah, it's a very special piece. I don't know what else to do with that one. So I'm going to work on my thumbnail and get a pretty picture here for you all. And go see how many minutes I've recorded. Okay, so we're going to open the new box. It's humongous. It's so big. I hope I don't get my fingers in the camera. I need one of those things that sticks on the other side of my phone, you know, that I can hold on to it with. So my reason for doing this is because I thought it might be fun if you guys pick which bag I open first. Because in a box this big, I would say probably has oh yeah it does because I remember from the pictures it should have four bags in it so thought it'd be fun to let you guys pick which bag I open first that's not good enough cutting I'm so excited I know it's going to be super nice jewelry pictures were awesome and the price was huge because I think everybody else saw how great it was too so, it's not the same place that I got rich box from I'll never order from that well I can't say I'll never um, I wouldn't order from them again at that price all right now let me see where my paper is Nice bubble wrap. Okay, we can barely see in here because my light, my light isn't even tall enough to reach over the top. So I'll put one bag on the table, we'll look at that, and the next bag, we'll do it that way. All right, here's bag number one. I'll try to turn it around, give you guys a good look at what's in it. Hmm. Oh, I see some real pearls right there. And I like that big pearl thing there. I like those little stones. Some purple stones here. Some shiny gold things. Now let's see what's on the side or maybe the other side. Ugh. Package is kind of thick right here, but I don't know how good you can see. Those are probably faux pearls. What's that blue stuff? Look at that. Look at that blue faceted, like almost like a satin glass. That looks like real rose quartz. And that, hmm, could that be real turquoise? it is, they're really special because it looks like lapis and turquoise beads together. Wow. And I wonder what these are. Well, we'll see. So that's bag number one. It's so heavy. The whole box is 33 pounds. But 
Honestly, it feels like 50 pounds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm gonna call this bag two. Got my little sticky thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a, maybe a cameo kind of thing. That looks something like a cameo. So this is the metallic bag. This is the one that takes me the longest to do on every video because there's so many chains and so many things. That's beautiful. What could that be? Oh, and look at that vintage gold tone something with leaves on it. I want that now. Oh, wow, that looks so pretty. Green rhinestones. Oh, I see a ring right there. I see lovely rhinestones in here. Lots of nice earrings. Some more yummy vintage gold. So what do you think of bag two? Turn it over. Wow, look at that piece. And look at that brooch. Hope I'm getting it in camera because I'm I'm looking at the bag instead of looking at what's in the camera. Wowzy. See, that's gonna be a lot of stuff, but that's okay, that's what it's all about. So we've got some beautiful look at that one. Lots of little earrings. That looks like sterling. A lot of rings, people. Look at the ring on the bottom with like pearls on it. Oh, this is gonna be a blast. I can't wait. Look at the size of this bracelet. It looks like, oh my gosh. It looks like it has amber on it, like real amber. Can you see it right there? I almost want to shine the flashlight. I want to cheat and shine the flashlight on it. See if it's amber. It's gorgeous. Oh, wow. It looks like it. But we won't know until we get it out and see if it's also sterling. That should be kind of fun to... Look at... That's fluorescing. Look how this piece fluoresces. Wow. That might be kind of a good idea to do that. Because then we can see what kind... Ooh, look at all the lighting up stuff. This is fun. Well, that was a piece of paper that lit up. But... Anyway. That's fun, fun, fun. And back around to bag two. Right there. All right, we saw that one. They're all gonna be so much fun. I'm pretending to not be out of breath, but I am. Bag three, take a good look. Let me know what you're thinking. This one has lots of beads, pretty colors. Looks like more rose quartz. But look at the color of that quartz. That's really pretty. Those look nice. Nice chains in there. Mm. It's hard to remember what I saw in the picture, but... That's that side. Flip it over. It feels like a big lump of dough. That's got some nice pretty colors, some shells. That definitely looks like amethyst. But look at that faceted pink stone. That's got to be um, coral, I would think. Can't see too well through this, but... This is bag three. Take a good look. Looks like some sterling right there. And some gemstones. OK, 
Okay, bag three. That's it. Take a sweet look. And this is fun for me too because you know I don't open it until I'm on camera with you. But this way I get a little peek of what's inside with you. Okay, this one has a bunch of blue something in it. What on earth could that be? Oh my gosh. It scared me. I thought it was liquid, but it's a blue feather. I was like, oh my gosh, there's blue ink everywhere, <laughs> but it's a feather. Whew. All right, let's put the four right here because we can't see through there anyway. And this is what we've got. Art glass. Beautiful stones. Look at that old piece. I love those red colors. I love those red colors. Woo! Pretty. And I see some gold right there. Gold tone. Ooh, that looks promising. Wouldn't it be fun to get some real gold? That's interesting looking. See some howlite. Nice chain right there. Nice vintage beads. Looks like a big cuff. What are you thinking? Which bag do you like the best or you want first? What's that? Okay, I'm going to flip it over. And cool. Hmm. I don't know. They all look good to me. Just remember that the metallic one's going to take a while. All right, for those who aren't subscribed and used to my channel, I don't want to go on too long because they might get mad at me, but that's a real pearl. And did I put the four on this bag? I think I did. So, look at that. Looks like orange moon glow or something. Pretty cool. This is bag number four. So, put it in the comments. Let me know which bag you want to see open first. And whatever number I see the most of, that's the one I'll do. Ooh, look at those faceted glass pieces. Very unusual. All right, but don't let me sway you because I think everything's marvelous. You pick bag one, two, three, or four, okay? In the comments below. Thanks so much, everybody.